Hi, Alex from LPFR here and welcome to the show where we discuss how to translate card technology from real life into LEGO. Links to the pictures and related links are in the description below the video. So, this time we examine the rear suspension that I made for the demonstration chassis. It's a very simple multi-link setup. It uses three main arms to locate the axis, two on the bottom and one on top. The bottom ones have pivot points on both ends and the top one has only one ball joint. The rear bottom arm also carries the spring. The front arm is here to provide steering to the suspension when it gets compressed. In the bottom view here you can see how the lower two arms are positioned in a triangle. In a real world setup the pivot points on the wheel side would be closer together. You can see here in the video that when the suspension is compressed, the front of the wheel is pulled to the inside. That means when the car is going into a turn, the outside rear wheel steers slightly in the same direction as the front wheels. This prevents the rear axle from snapping out during cornering and surprising the driver with oversteer in a fast corner. In our example, the effect is perhaps slightly more exaggerated than in real life. Because of sheer convenience, I used existing steering links. Just like in the front, the suspension arms are of unequal length, which means that, the, that when the suspension gets compressed, the camber increases and the wheel stays upright, despite the car's body leaning to one side, which keeps the contact patch of the tire as big as possible and allows the tire to provide maximum lateral support. At this stage, just watch some clips of the suspension in action. I hope I've given you some ideas to break the mold of the standard LEGO front rear double wishbone suspension. More things will follow of course in the course of the suspension series and we will also cover full front multi-link setups, McPherson setups and more. But next time we'll take a look at the last basic thing regarding front suspensions that is toe in, toe out, bump steer and my biggest dislike in my own creation models that I often see on Bricklink. Don't forget to click the like button below the video and I'll see you next time.